efficient uh, seasons for Zach, let alone nights like this. Um, just seemed like he was on it tonight. And ball was moving, ball was finding him. I mean, do you get that sense that they understood hot hand, let's keep feeding that hot hand? Yeah, I think so. You know, even closing the game, game out, some of the shots he made. So, you know, I, I think this is what I was saying earlier about liking the group. Like, DeMar's an elite scorer. Vooch is an elite scorer. They understand a guy like Zach has, you know, got it going. And, you know, they're going to, not to say he needs to take every shot, but, you know, obviously try to find him, put the ball in his hands and see if he can make those kind of plays. And I thought even when they tra started trapping him, he generated shots for us by throwing the ball into the middle of the floor. And the next guy was able to make the next play. Driving kick was hurting you guys in that first quarter. What did you guys do different, or was it just a matter of the shots just weren't falling for them? I mean, they were still trying it, but it looked like you guys were doing a better job of rotating and kind of getting out there. Yeah, I thought, again, I didn't think we started the game off very well. Um, you know, we didn't really have much of a flow or rhythm at all. Um, we weren't playing with a lot of force, you know, on offense. I think, to your point, they drove us and kicked, and they got a lot of threes up. Um, I thought our defensive response... Um, just in terms of rotations and being ready to help was, was a lot better as the game went on than it was that early part. And the last thing for me, Alex tried to go pregame, obviously, and what, yeah. what transpired exactly? Just uh, biggest issue with him is the lateral movement. He feels pretty good straight ahead. I, I, I'm not saying he's 100% straight ahead, but he, I think he can feels really from where he was a lot better. It's the side to side that's causing him to hang up right now. So until that subsides, um, you know, we won't really know. But if once that gets cleared up, he should should be able to come back. But uh, he, he has, is, is a lot better from yesterday to today, doing more today than he was yesterday. So hopefully, you know, we'll maybe get lucky and he'll be available tomorrow. Really, it seems like every other night, somebody's having a night like Zach had tonight, somewhere in the league. I mean, it seems more, more typical than any other recent season. What do you think the factors are that contribute to that? Uh, well, I think across the league, uh, you know, scoring is up. Um, it's pretty interesting. It's like I think analytically, if you look at like where the average or the leading scoring team was in the NBA a year ago to where it is now, even starting the season, there's a pretty drastic difference. I think there's more free throws. Um, I think there's more possessions. Um, and then I also feel like with the level in, of, of, of some of these guys in the league offensively, when you start adding more free throws, more possessions, those numbers are going to you know, inevitably go up. Do not go Brooklyn and Philadelphia back-to-back -back games. Just think about being able to have those two games and being able to think those good wins. I think it's two very good teams in the Eastern Division. What does it say about your squad? Yeah, I mean, again, I think we got to keep being consistent. You know, it was uh, – we responded, obviously, they were without – a great player tonight. Um, you know, we were missing some guys as well. Um, they played really well the other night against Indiana and got an overtime win. Um, they're really good at home. Uh, Brooklyn had been playing extremely well, I think, winning 12 in a row. Um, you know, these are some of the th things that we've got to go through. Um, there were some difficulties, I think, early in the year with, you know, just not playing at a level or a standard, you know, I, that, that is going to be sustainable against good teams. And hopefully, you know, we can, you know, build off of this. And can we come back tomorrow and be consistent? That's the biggest thing for our team. Can we go back tomorrow and do it again tomorrow night? Obviously, it's a different opponent. There'll be different schemes. But just the way we play, can we come back and play with that kind of, you know, intensity? Um, not so much in the first quarter, but once we, you know, got through that first quarter. Um, so, again, it's one game, and I think we're looking for consistency right now. I'm happy with the way you guys played and what they did, but like I said, we'll leave here and we gotta play again tomorrow. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you. Thanks, yep, thank you.